Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered through all four coins of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a few scriptures, honing in on you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And by no means will you escape judgment for your disobedience, man. You know, there's going to come a time in the very near future. You're going to wish you hearken to the report and turn back from your wicked ways and repent it. But by the time you realize that, it's going to be too late. The first scripture I want to get into is the book of Isaiah. The 30th chapter. And I want to start at verse 9 and it reads... That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you are rebellious. You are a rebellious people. You know what? Let's get this word rebellious real quick. Rebellious. Rebellious. Showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention. Right. You resist Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You say the law is done away with. You see? Huh. You want to move like brute beasts. Like, like, like this is just a free-for-all. No, this is not a free-for-all. This is still order. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is all about order. Let's see some similar words. Defiant. Disobedient, insubordinate, unruly, ungovernable, man. You see that? Uncontrollable, unmanageable. Let's see what else we got here. Resistant, right? You resist the spirit. You resist the truth. You see that? Wow, wayward. Uh, yeah, your doctrine's wayward. Your wacky tacky Christianity. You see that? Let's go back to the scripture. But this is why two thirds of you need to be cut off and die, man. Because there ain't no saving you, man. Your whole head is sick. Let's read this again from the top of the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children, right? Y'all do lie, man. Y'all say you you love the Lord. I love the Lord. We uh we, I love the Lord, yeah. <laughs> When you're told you're supposed to keep the commandments, if you love the Lord, keep his commandments, you have an excuse for that. You see, you say they say the law is done away with. Come on, man. First John in the book of John, man. If you love the Lord, keep his commandments, man. You see? But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're lawless, man. You're ungovernable. You're insubordinate. You see? <laughs> and it's going to cost you your life, man. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, right? You don't want to hear the law of the Lord, man. You want to continue to just do what you do. Do as thy, do as thy will. You know, you want to live like a, like a beast. You know, you want to continue to commit adultery. You want to continue to defile your temple, smoking, smoking weed and cigarettes. And doing all types of drugs. You know? <laughs> you want to continue to have sex with your with your friend's wife. You know? You want to continue celebrating these pagan holidays. You know? Worshipping graven images. Committing idolatry. You want to just... You want to continue in your wickedness, man. And it's going to cost you. Continuing on. Which say to the seers... See not and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, 
prophesy the seeds right. You know, tell us we can still eat shrimp, lobster, pork, crab. You know, tell us we can be sodomites and transformers. You know, tell us we can, you know, have sex with our friend's wife. But as long as we come to church on Sunday and put money in that collection plate and say we love the Lord, we'll be saved and we'll be forgiven. Come on, man. Come on, man. And you you pastors that are deceiving the people, man, that are scattering the Lord's flock, woe to you. Scripture says, woe to the pastors that scatter his flock, man. Destruction is going to be coming to you pastors, man. Straight up and down. You see? What you what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans forgot is that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's long suffering, man. He's long suffering. You're not gonna get away. You're not gonna escape. Just like how Esau Edom's not gonna escape for what he has done to the children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for your disobedience, for your lack of, of knowledge, you're not gonna escape the judgment. That's going to fall upon you, man. You know, let's go to, um, let's get the book of Numbers real quick. The book of Numbers chapter 14. In verse, in verse 18, and it reads, the book of Numbers chapter 14 and verse 18, and it reads, The Lord is long suffering, right? Long suffering goes into Goes into patient. You see? He's patient. Slow to anger. <laughs> you know? But y'all take that lightly. You see, y'all forget. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai didn't forget what you did a month ago, a year ago, a lifetime ago. You see? That's why scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. A fearful thing. Continuing on, and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression. Only if you turn back and repent, you got to seek the Lord while he may be found, though. And he's, he can be found at this time because you, you see the prophets on the highways and byways, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down and like, like-minded like men with the same doctrine, pushing his truth. You can, you can repent. You have... There's an open opportunity to do so. But that door is closing, man. That door is closing more and more. Every day, every week. That door is closing more and more. Continuing on. And by no means clearing the guilty, see? Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Unto the third and fourth generation. You are your children. This is going into reincarnation, man. You see? A generation is what? 30 years? So give or take. Three to four generations. What? 100 years, give or take. If you escape. You escape not getting judged in this life. You best to believe as it's written. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Which are the fathers. You are your children Unto the third and fourth generation man You see so when you come back to earth Where judgment happens under the sun You're gonna be served man There's no escape You know you may die like Esau May you know dying peaceably around his family You know When this devil comes back That's why you see these devils come back In all types of um, (laughs) Scenarios man In all types of horrific conditions man you see? And now these devils are going to be being born back into captivity. Because the kingdom is going to be established soon, man. We are in the latter days, man. This is this is, this is is it. You know, this is it. But for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you wicked pastors, you, 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 you so-called successful Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, celebrities, athletes, you're not going to escape, man. You see? Scripture says it will be a marvel if, if one escapes unpunished, man. Let's get that real quick. What is that? Um, if there be one step next, Salakia.
There's no escape in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, this is in the Apocrypha, I believe. Um, there it is. The book of Ecclesiasticus. Also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 16 and verse 11. And it reads. And if there be one stiff neck among the people. It is a marvel. If he escape unpunished man. It ain't gonna happen. It's, it'll be a marvel. You are not gonna escape. The hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. No way no how. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. You see? <laughs> and there's going to come a time in the near future that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's going to pour out displeasure. On the inhabitants of the earth. And that day is drawing near, man. Uh, that day is drawing very near. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah. Let's go back to Isaiah chapter 30. I left off on... Um, Verse 10. I'll read that again from the top and continue on. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 10. And it reads. Which say to the sea is see not. And to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. Right. Everything's going to be all right. You know. There ain't no Jacob's trouble coming. You know. You're going to be good. You can be a Sodomite. You can be a Transformer. Just pray to the Lord. Just say that you love the Lord. Just call on the Lord's name. No matter what you've done, so high, he, he, you'll be all right. He'll accept you. And you, you, you pastors, man, I'm, I got to pay for your wickedness, man, for your evil, for scattering the flock, man. Continuing on, verse 11. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And y'all do this by your actions, man. By your actions, you're pretty much saying, <laughs> cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, man. Because you're disobedient. You refuse to be in order. You see? Like the definition said, for the word uh, um, rebellious, you're, you're ungovernable, man. You, you resist. <laughs> you know? Continuing on. Verse 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, right? And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you do trust in oppression and perverseness. Why? Because you trust in our oppressor. The devil that the Bible speaks of, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You trust in this man, man. You rather play, you rather play Russian roulette with your life, right? And go down to a, a, a nearby clinic and let this man climb up inside you, just to further this man's system, man. Not realizing you're rebelling against your rebellion against your power. You see, that's why scripture says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You're, you're joining hand in hand with the wicked. But they're not going to go unpunished either way. <laughs> and you're going to be thrust through when you're found joined unto him, man. You see? And, and the doctrine that you subscribe to, that this man fed to you, that wacky tacky Christianity, that that it's a wayward doctrine, man. It's perverse, man. All it has done has, has stared our people in, in, into darkness, man. 
You see? It's wickedness, man. It's not the true doctrine. It's not the way of the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, man. It's a wayward doctrine, man. And you stay there on, man. You grip it tight, man. You grip tight to your JC. Let's see if JC is going to save you when these calamities begin to rest upon the planet Earth, man. When the spirit of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai flares up on this Earth, man. Let's see if JC will save you. Continuing on. Verse 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. See, evil's gonna evil's gonna rest upon you in an instant. You sodder, stiff neck, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you ain't even gonna see it coming, man. You're going to get blindsided with judgment, man. Because you trusted in that slippery serpent, man. And it's going to cost you and your whole household, man. You know? It's going to cost you and your whole household. You know, let me finish up in um, the book of Ecclesiastes. Let me get the book of Ecclesiastes. The ninth chapter. <laughs> In the 12th verse, and it reads, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 12, and it reads, For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Right, the storehouses are going to be suddenly empty. This devil's you and troops are going to be on the ground in your city near you suddenly. <laughs> You're going to get picked up and being shipped off to a FEMA camp suddenly. You see? Let's get this word suddenly real quick. And we are in evil times, man. You a fool if you can't see that. And they're going to get worse. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is about to bring a lot of death to this place, man. And if you're not on the right side, you're going to get served, man. Point blank, period. There's no way around it, man. Suddenly. Suddenly, quickly, and unexpectedly, man. Similar words, man. Let's get some similar words. Immediately, instant. Instantaneously, man, you're not gonna see it coming. Straight away, all of a sudden, at once, abruptly, swiftly, unexpectedly, on the spur of the moment, man, out of the blue, you see? Man, in a flash, you see that? Let's go back to the scripture and read that again from the top. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12 and it reads For man also knoweth not his time As the fishes that are taken in an evil net And as the birds that are caught in the snare So are the sons of men snared in an evil time And we are living in evil times Bad times, you see? When it falleth suddenly upon them, man, you know, and this is it's gonna the judgment's gonna suddenly fall upon you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You two thirds, man. You you stiff neck, hot headed, sodish Negro, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, that refuse to hearken to the to, to the report. You see, you're going to get, you're going to get blindsided, man. You're going to get blindsided. And guess what? It's going to be your fault, man. It's going to be your fault. Because <laughs> you refused to hearken. And you wanted to continue 
to be immersed in your wickedness, man. And it's going to cost you because you didn't fear the Lord. You didn't fear Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know what? Let me finish off with one more scripture. Let's finish off in the book of Proverbs. The 19th chapter. Right here, the book of Proverbs, the 19th chapter and the 23rd verse. And it reads, the fear of the Lord tendeth to life. And he that, and he that have it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil, man. You see that? Abarathaza. We are part of that precious out as Akiyam and Akwath that have turned back, that have repented, that have become obedient to the scriptures in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Abba Rathazah. We abide satisfied throughout the time of famine, throughout the time of perilous times. Abba Rathazah. Us and our families abide satisfied through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? But those of you that refuse to turn back, for those of you that refuse to be obedient and clean yourselves up and get your house in order, guess what? You're going to be visited with evil, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be visited with evil. And it's going to be suddenly, man. Suddenly. You know, but that's the point, Akiyama and Akwa. You know, I just wanted to bring that out through the spirit. You know, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Shalawam Akiyam.